Gilgamesh often gave it the epitaph of the king, also known as Bogomesh in the Sumerian texts, was the fifth king of Uruk, modern day Iraq. According to the Sumerian king list, he reigned for 126 years. In the epic of Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh is credited with the building of the legendary walls of York. An alternative version has Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh telling Ursh Anabi, the ferryman, the city's walls were built by the seven sages. What's interesting is that the Epic of Gilgamesh is one of the first writings that we have in regards to our species. Fascinating. Enkidu is a central figure in the ancient Mesopotamian epic of Gilgamesh. Enkidu was formed from clay and saliva by Aru, the goddess of creation, to rid Gilgamesh of his arrogance. In the story, he is a wild man raised by animals and ignorant of human society until he is bedded by Shemat. Thereafter, a series of interactions with humans and human ways bring him closer to civilization, culminating in a wrestling match between Gilgamesh, King of Uruk, and Enkidu, embodies the world, the wild natural world. Though equal to Gilgamesh in strength and bearing, and acts the same way as an antithesis to the cultured urban bred warrior king. Enkidu then becomes the king's constant companion and deeply beloved friend accompanying him on his adventures until he is stricken hell. I know who my Enkidu is. I command him to come forth and I shall wrestle him hand to hand. For it is a great human competition, endeavor, challenge, contest, union, whatever you choose to call it, where is to wrestle forth just as I say I wrestled with Michael. As Gilgamesh wrestled with Enkidu. Come forth, Enkidu. I shall wrestle with you. And we shall be at a stalemate. And then we shall become friends. And then I shall mourn your death. And honor you.